And there are new claims tonight regarding the safety of a controversial birth control device that two news investigates first told you about this past fall. Many women, including some right here in our area, claim the FDA approved Esure caused them severe pain and health complications. A congressman now working to get Esure off of store shelves says he's uncovered more data that helps their case. Natalie Tindall with two news investigates has the important update. Well, after thousands of complaints, the FDA started looking into the problem and is set to release its review and recommendations on the eSure device any day. In the meantime, Pennsylvania Congressman Mike Fitzpatrick claims there were unreported deaths caused by the device, as well as legal complaints that allege illegal kickbacks from the manufacturer to doctors. Esure is a permanent birth control. It's designed to work by placing two metallic coils in the fallopian tubes. Scar tissue develops, preventing pregnancy. The FDA has received more than 5,000 complaints from women who say Esure coils broke apart in their bodies and caused extreme pelvic pain and heavy bleeding. I had to get it out. I had to get that device out. I knew that that was the cause for me feeling the way that I felt. Ashley King of Dayton says she had a hysterectomy to relieve the pain. While doctors we spoke with say Esure is safe and complications are rare, Congressman Mike Fitzpatrick from Pennsylvania has introduced legislation that would require the FDA to pull the product off the market. On Wednesday, he said the FDA has its numbers wrong when it comes to the number of complaint reports involving fetal deaths due to Esure. He says while the agency claims there have been five, a different review of the data shows more more than 300. In response to the congressman's statement, Bayer, the maker of Esure, says it would be irresponsible to suggest that Esure causes fetal deaths when after an unsuccessful Esure procedure, an undesired pregnancy cannot be carried to term. It's really upsetting to know that you trusted your doctor, they put this device that's supposed to be permanent into your body, and you're still getting pregnant. Now, Fitzpatrick also claims Bayer, the maker of Esher and Conceptus, the former manufacturer, gave illegal financial incentives like free medical equipment to doctors encouraging people to use Esher. Now, Bayer points out that the Department of Justice investigated and took no action, but you can read Bayer's entire statement right now on WDTN.com. That's where you can also watch my earlier investigation, including an interview with a local doctor who maintains Esher is safe. Natalie Tendall, 2 News, investigates.